Maroon, one of the new songs on Taylor Swift's Midnights, is not about who you think it is. It's about Harry Styles, not Jake Gyllenhaal, and I have proof. First, let's start with some much needed context. In her Midnight's Mayhem with Me episode, where she announced the title for Maroon, Taylor Swift is wearing the red ring, illustrated on the screen. This indicates that it would be a song that was from the red time period. Further, Maroon is a shade of red, and it's track two on Midnight's, whereas Red is track two on the album Red. This may lead you to believe that this song would be about Red's main protagonist, Jake Gyllenhaal. However, don't forget that Harry Styles makes his appearances on Red as well, such as in Treacherous, I Knew You Were Trouble, and The Very First Night in her re-recording. Now we'll go over some of the lyrical parallels between Maroon and previous Harry Styles related songs that lead me to believe that Maroon is about Harry Styles. In Maroon, Taylor sings, the burgundy on my t-shirt when you splashed your wine into me. Further, on 1989, she sings, you're still all over me like a wine stained dress I can't wear anymore, from Clean. These lyrics are very similar and seem to be referencing a similar feeling or incident. Beyond this, in Made in the AM, One Direction says, this isn't the stain of red wine, I'm bleeding love, which was thought to be a reference back to Taylor Swift's clean and referencing this entire situation. This wine stain metaphor is something Taylor uses when discussing Harry. Taylor also says on Maroon, the mark you saw on my collarbone. This parallels lyrics from Style, where she, where she says, I heard that you've been out and about with some other girl. He said, what you heard is true, but I can't stop thinking about you and I. I said I've been there too a few times. Meaning that Taylor Swift was seeing other people while she was seeing Harry Styles and they would go back and forth but come back to each other. I can't imagine Taylor Swift having a mark on her collarbone from someone else while she was dating Jake Gyllenhaal. Next, Taylor says, the rust that grew between telephones. This is very Harry Styles related imagery. On many of her different songs from 1989, she says these lines, I wish I never hung up the phone like I did. That's from I wish you would. And here you are calling me up, but I don't know what to say. And when you left her all alone and never told her why, all of these lines from their previous relationship merged together to show this lack of communication, this talking all the time and they don't, rust growing between telephones, these lines not being used. This is another reference to their relationship. She says, so scarlet it was maroon. This is referencing the, the very bright emotions that she talks about on Red. And this can parallel one of the lyrics from Out of the Woods, the rest of the world was black and white, but we were in screaming color. Another compelling parallel is the bridge of Maroon, where Taylor sings, and I wake with your memory over me. That's a real fucking legacy to leave. This parallels something she's talking about in Wildest Dreams, to speaking about Harry again. Someday when you leave me, I bet these memories follow you around. On the one side, she's saying, I'll bet you'll remember me and these memories will hang over you. And here she's saying, I'm waking with your memory over me. Well, everything else I've mentioned so far has just been speculation and reading into the lyrics, here is the photographic evidence. There's only one time when Taylor is actually telling us who she's talking about. She says, I chose you. And then she tells us who the subject of that you is. She says, you, the one I was dancing with in New York, no shoes. Now, who did she dance with in New York? This could be Jake. They danced around the kitchen in the refrigerator light. They spent time in New York. However, there's photographic evidence of Harry and Taylor dancing at an after party after a One Direction Madison Square Garden concert. They are dancing. They recreate the iconic Dirty Dancing lift. And what? I found a photo. She is wearing no shoes. Find me anything about Jake that says that and I might be converted. But for now, this is definitive proof that this song is about Harry Styles.